Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I am Koichi GZ, and in this video I want to go over the new weapon, so that's going to be the Demon Hammer. So I actually got this weapon uh, pretty much using uh, tickets that I earned through mileage. So right over here on my Battle Master, you're going to see I'm going to have this very large weapon. So yes, so this is going to be the Demon Hammer. So pretty much I only got the uh, weapon for this, I didn't get the armor, so the armor Armor, um, so I explained it before that the armor is actually cursed, so um, I don't think I'm going to actually pursue getting it. I think I'll probably concentrate uh, the rest of my tickets to try to get the new uh, healing staff, but uh, pretty much here I actually have pretty good uh, meta-based armor. So uh, yeah, so right here with this particular weapon, as you can see right here, you're going to get uh, some pretty good stats so in this case this is actually going to be meant for a god hand so this level one you're going to see is god hand uh plus five to your attack power then here you have a bunch of skills and then at level 35 you get plus five percent to your critical hit rate plus five percent damage to demons for level 40 and then plus 12 uh to your defense for level 45 if you have expertise with this particular weapon then of course with level 50 you're going to get the uh sudden activation skill so that's pretty much it for this weapon in terms of what its stats are so what i want to do is actually go over the actual abilities so pretty much going back out here and into a battle Okay, so here we go with this battle. So I'm uh, gonna go to my battle master. So right next here, right here. So yes, yeah, so pretty much right here you can see this little mark. So that pretty much looks like uh, the demon god. So with this, this is going to be Kinki no Hiho, which is going to be Forbidden Secret. So this is going to be the sudden activation ability. So it costs 5, uh, not 5 MP, but uh, 8 MP. And what it does is strengthening oneself with the Forbidden Secret. The wielder's weapon and physical sneak damage is increased. But effectiveness of HP recovery skills taken in is lowered. And this is going to last 3 turns. So pretty much I have a pretty big boost. And then also... Um, I believe uh, this also gives me a chance to increase my uh, critical hit rate, or actually that's for a different ability, but um, next uh, what I want to do is actually go over the first ability for this particular weapon, which is one that we've had uh, seen before, it's going to be Tai Boku Giri, which is going to be a Great Tree Slash. So with this, this is going to cost 5 MP and it does 160% weapon damage to plant enemies while only doing 130% weapon damage to all other enemies. So that's going to be like this. And guarded, okay. Okay, so back at my battle master. So here the next ability is going to be one that we have seen before. It's going to be Onomatsuri, which is going to be Axe Frenzy. So this is going to cost 15 MP. And what this does, it deals 170% weapon damage to all enemies within the swing's range. So that's going to be like this. Okay, so it did some pretty good damage. Got a crit there. Okay, so back with my Battle Master again. So the next ability for this weapon is going to be right over here. So this is going to be Katsushingeki, which is going to be Active Shock. So this is going to cost 31 MP, and what it does, it does 260% Jibari of physical damage to all enemies, and also recovers a little bit of HP of all allies, so going to be like this. So that actually is actually pretty good. And here again, back with our battle master. So here we're going to go over the final ability of this weapon. So that's going to be right here. So this is going to be uh, Majin no Hono Azuji, uh, which is Demon God's Flame Hammer. So with this, this is going to cost 42 MP. 
and what it does, it does a whopping 600% of meta physical damage to one enemy and has a rare chance to increase the critical hit rate of the wielder, so like this. And there, 10,000 damage. Nice. So pretty much that is all of the uh, actual abilities for this particular weapon. Okay, so yeah, so that was pretty much the use of this hammer. So uh, the demon hammer. So definitely you will be seeing me using this uh, in a couple other videos, especially when going up against the ultimate evolution evil priest. And most likely, um, since this is actually a brand new marital weapon that I do have, um, I will be using this as a pretty much a main weapon uh, for my Merida team. So definitely you will be seeing this. You will also be seeing this uh, with my Jibadia team as well since it does Jibadia damage to all enemies. So definitely please stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, besides that, there really is no other... Nothing to go over with this particular weapon. Uh, the abilities are actually quite straightforward and nothing else to really go on but uh yeah so with that said i'm going to end this video here so you will be seeing this weapon again soon so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you would like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video